Hmm, leman balik pasang bracket fun. Leman balik pasang bracket fun. What is that? It doesn't make sense. But hold on, I'm gonna tell you a secret. That is a mnemonic we're gonna use in this video to learn about something. What is it? I want you to stay curious. Good day everyone and welcome back to Siri Pencara Kimia Awak. In this video, we're going to learn about emission spectra. There are two types of spectra that you need to know. The first one, continuous spectra, and the second one, line spectra. Now, let's have a look at continuous spectra. Continuous spectra are spectra that consist of all wavelengths components of the visible light. What about line spectra? Line spectra consists of discontinuous and discrete lines produced by excited atoms and ions as the electrons fall back to a lower energy level. The radiation emitted is only at a specific wavelength or frequency. Let's have a look at how line spectra are being produced and what the mnemonic Lehman Balik Pasar Bracket Fun has got to do with this. The emission spectrum of hydrogen includes a wide range of wavelengths which fall into three regions, namely ultraviolet, visible region, and infrared. And within these regions, there are series. In ultraviolet region, you have Lyman series. In the visible region, you have Palmer series. Whereas in the infrared region, we have three, passion, brackets, and fund. Hence, the mnemonic that I have introduced to you at the beginning of this video. Lehman balik pasang bracket fun. I repeat, Lehman balik pasang bracket fun. So when you remember that mnemonic, hopefully you will be able to remember the series. Lyman, Palmer, Passion, bracket, and fun. Right, so now let's have a look how the line spectra are produced in the Lyman series. So we have this electrons at the ground states n equals to 1. It absorbs energy and then it goes up to n equals to 2. At this point, we do not have a photon yet, but when the electron drops to n equals to 1, photon will be emitted and therefore the first line of Lyman series is produced. To make the first line of Lyman series, electron must drop from n equals to 2 to n equals to 1. And that is the first line of Lyman series. In which region? Yes, you have it correct. In the ultraviolet region. Okay, therefore, you cannot see this line. Right, what about the second line of Lyman series? Again, the electron at the ground state n equals to 1 absorbs energy, and this time it goes up to a much higher energy level n equals to 3, and guess what? It drops to n equals to 1, and therefore, an energy will be emitted in the form of photon and the second line of Lyman series is produced. So to make the second line of Lyman series, you need to have the electron to drop from n equals to 3 to energy level n equals to 1. Okay, so let's have a look at another one. So to make the third line in Lyman series, the electron at the ground state again needs to absorb energy and it goes up to n equals to 4 and then it goes down to n equals to 1 and 
energy will be emitted in a form of photon and the third line of Lyman series is produced so the electron moves from n equals to 4 to n equals to 1 to make the third line of Lyman series again I would like to repeat that this line over here cannot be seen by human eyes okay you cannot see this with your naked eyes because they fall in the region of ultraviolet UV okay so you might be wondering do we stop at three lines no the lines can go up until fourth you can have the fifth line you can have the sixth line seventh until you're gonna reach the convergence limits okay so that is how we're gonna make the lines in Lyman series so what about in Palma series okay Again, the electron at the ground state will absorb energy and it goes up to n equals to 3. And this time, because we are talking about Palmer series, the electron drops to n equals to 2, not n equals to 1. Because if the electron from n equals to 3 just now drops to n equals to 1, that one will be Lyman series. But when the electron drops from n equals to 3 to n equals to 2, energy will be emitted in the form of photon. And you have the first line in Palmer series. Okay, so this one falls in the visible region. That's why you have a colored line. Okay, you have a colored line over here in red. You will see this in red with your... Um, naked eyes okay um, just now in Lyman series you have that in black because I want to tell you that you cannot see those lines but for Balmer series you can see the first line in red color okay so let's have a look at how we're gonna make the second line okay so I repeat that again before we're gonna move on so if you want to make the first line of Palmer series, you need to have the electron to drop from n equals to 3 to n equals to 2. Alright, so let's get that back to n equals to 1. And then this time, it needs to absorb energy again so that it can go up to n equals to 4. Okay, higher than n equals to 3. And then guess what? It will fall to n equals to 2 because this is Palmer series, okay? And energy will be emitted in the form of photon to produce the second line of Palmer series. And this time the color is blue. Some people call this cyan or um, light blue, but as long as it is blue looking, that should be fine. So the second line of Palmer series, if you look here, is blue in color. So how do you produce that, okay? How do you make that? Um, again, if you look over here, the electron from n equals to 4 will drop to n equals to 2. If it drops to n equals to 1, that one will be Lyman series. Remember that, okay? So, how do we make the third line? So the third line of Balma series is made when the electron at the ground state absorbs energy, goes up to n equals to 5, and it drops to n equals to 2. Energy will be emitted, and the third line of Balma series is produced. And if you look here, the color is in purple or indigo okay so you have um, three different colored lines because they are in the visible region and they are can be seen with your naked eyes right so when you look again at the transition how do you make the third line you need to have your electron to drop from n equals to 5 to n equals to 2 that is the third line of Palmer series. 
Okay, so this is the actual hydrogen line spectra for Balmer series. So if you look in front of you on your screen, it looks really colorful, like a rainbow. It looks really nice, isn't it? Okay. Let's have a look at the last one before we're going to move on. In Passion Series, how are you going to make um, the line spectrum in Passion Series? Basically, it's the same thing. So the electron at the ground state absorbs energy and it goes up to n equals to 4. And this time it falls to n equals to 3. Okay, so you have the energy emitted in a form of photon and you have your first line of passion series. So in front of you on your screen, this is the um, representation of the whole electron transition for Lyman, Balmer, Passion, Brackets, and Fund. <laughs> So for some tips, so if you look at the line spectrum over here, you can see that the line spectrum is arranged in a different way. So you have to remember the first line will always going to be the furthest from the convergence limit. That will be the first line, followed by the second line, third, fourth, and fifth. Same goes to passion series. Same goes to bracket series and fun series. Okay, so wavelength will decrease as you go down towards the convergence limit, and the frequency will increase as you go down towards the convergence limit. And the convergence limit has the energy n equals to infinity. Another good tip is this is the energy levels. You need to remember this, okay? This is not line spectrum, all right? So, line spectrum is this, or you can have it in this form. Both are the same. You have to remember that. Energy levels are not line spectrum, okay? So this is your line spectrum, and then you have your energy level just now. So we have learned about emission spectra just now. That is only part one. For part two, Click the link below and before this video ends, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.